So what are the DNO designers actually looking at? When your solar or battery system is exporting to the grid, it raises the grid voltage. This is because electric current flows from high voltage to low voltage. So in order for your solar or battery system to actually export to the grid, it has to operate at a slightly higher voltage to be able to send the power back to the grid. For example, if the grid is operating at 240 volts, then the solar would most likely operate around 243 volts. And in this case, the inverter would then be pushing 243 volts out to the grid and the grid voltage itself will gradually increase. When you have multiple solar or battery systems, or what they call micro generators in a local electricity network, the problem is compounded in the scenario when they're all trying to export power to the grid at the same time. The DNO will look at the most impactful scenario, which is when all systems in the local area are exporting at full capacity to the grid. This is why on sunny days, you do sometimes get problems with inverters shutting down due to high voltage. However, this issue is quite rare nowadays as most inverters can operate up to 262 volts, whereas the grid can only go up to 253 volts. The DNO's job is to keep the voltage to each house within 10% of the 230 volt nominal UK voltage. The more local micro generators that there are exporting to the grid, the higher the voltage rise on that grid. So the DNO have to consider how much local generation they will allow to keep that voltage rise to an acceptable minimum. The DNO will know that in a local network, there's a certain amount of excess capacity within the infrastructure to account for voltage rises. For example, they'll know that if there are, say, 100 kilowatts being exported to the local grid, that'll cause the voltage to hit the 10% ceiling. If the local infrastructure isn't strong enough to take the full capacity of the system, they'll then go back to whoever submitted the application and let them know the largest capacity that can be installed without paying for upgrades to the local network. Often, this will include things like generation and export limitations. 